Oh my God, this is incredibly sensitive in a really good way and it's gonna just take some practice. Number four. Right control and numb minus. So it's going to be right control and numb minus. Is that right? Uh, oh, okay. Zoom out slow is numb minus. We'll do that, but we'll hold that down for three seconds and then we're going to add another key press which is going to be Okay, so we can test it in this uh, run and see how we get on. Get rid of the music, I think. Okay, so if we go to training, flight and navigation, SU-27, let's go. Landing. We're still going to be in mode two and uh, cockpit lights. Now I kind of feel like I want to put those near these dials here. You can't see that, unfortunately. Right, are we done? Trim the nose up. Right, trim. There's a dial here. It looks like an axis, but actually it's it's a scroll. You can see, scroll forward, scroll back. It's like a button. Uh, so if I say button, right control and semicolon to trim down and right control, full stop to trim up. Ooh. That's it. That should be it. Okay, good. Welcome to this lesson on basic flying and navigation of the SU-27. This lesson will teach you how to get from point A to point Z and all points in between. I currently have the lesson in active pause. If you wish, you can turn on cockpit lighting by pressing L. Your airspeed is indicated in the top left corner of the HUD. The horizontal line below the airspeed indication with the carrot below it indicates your acceleration or deacceleration. If the carrot is on the left side of the line, you are deaccelerating. If it is in the center, your speed is not changing, and if it is on the right side of the line, you are accelerating. The smaller number above is your set airspeed for that leg of the route when you're in navigation mode. Press the spacebar to continue. I can't really see the HUD very well, and I don't have a zoom button set up, so we just have to. Your altitude in meters is indicated in the top right corner of your HUD. An R to the right indicates it is radar altitude or height above ground and not barometric height above sea level altitude. A small number above is your desired barometric altitude for that leg of the route. Press the spacebar to continue. You'll probably notice a circle in the center of the HUD. This provides you course steering to the next waypoint. By flying the aircraft to align the circle in the center of the bank and pitch indicator in the center of the HUD, you will reach your next destination on the course line. The course line is the direct line between two waypoints. Press the spacebar to continue. This looks really simple. Well, it sounds really simple, but I bet you it's quite tricky. At least, you know, this is my very first attempt, so don't expect too much, guys. In the bottom center of your front dash is a horizontal situation indicator, or HSI, that looks like a compass. The yellow needle points directly to your next waypoint. And the top left field indicates the range of kilometers to that waypoint. 
top right field indicates your course bearing to reach the next waypoint. The double white needles points to your course intercept. When you're on course to the next waypoint, both the yellow and white needles will align. Press the spacebar to continue. Okay. It's a lot to take in, but we'll get there. Ahead of you are a series of gates to fly through. Fly through the first gate directly ahead of you. You can push the control stick forward to push the nose down and dive, or pull back the stick to raise the nose and climb. These inputs control your elevator. Use the throttle, or page up and page down, control your thrust. Try to keep your airspeed around 620 kilometers per hour. Press the spacebar when you're ready, and I will unpause the lesson. Alrighty, here we go. Note that when you pass through a gate, the next one's sequence will become larger if it's rather far away. If you get too fast, oh, so use the throttle and toggle your air brakes by pressing B. The next seat is above you and to the left. To change your heading, use your aircraft's ailerons to roll the aircraft to the left by moving your control stick to the left and then gently pulling back on the stick until you are aligned with the next gate. Oh god. The next two gates are below you and to the right. This time, roll the aircraft to the right and lower your nose to fly through the gate. Yes, Throttle back on. Oh my god, this is incredibly sensitive in a really good way and it's going to just take some practice. And I actually feel like the rudder is actually doing something whereas in some flight sims it doesn't always feel like that's the case. Come on now. Fly through the next gate directly ahead. As you go faster, your nose will want to rise, and as you go slower, the nose will want to fall. It to keep right, your right nose up. level, try using the trim. To trim the nose up, press right control and period. To trim the nose down, press right control and semicolon. Yeah, I don't have time for that. Oh my shish kabang. I think I got it, I don't know. Lots of left rudder. It's demanding. Quiet spell. I think I missed that one. Oh, gosh. Going slow over the wrong way. Pretty fun, pretty challenging. Excellent tutorial, I guess. Really does do a good job of uh, getting you where you need to be. That's a better one. I don't know what that means. Sounds important, whatever it is. Is this the last one? I don't know, there's a couple more. I'm not even looking at the fantastic scenery right now. Oh. 
got the thermal air tracking on. Okay, they're getting a bit more tricky now, a bit more demanding. Air tracking is making it harder. I don't even see the next one. And we're down this way apparently. Oh, there it is. Oh no. Button my head's up display. Follow the circle. Is it high? Genuinely don't see it. Whatever it is. This looks fantastic though, right? I'm sure it's not the whole world. It's pretty darn good. I'm not sure if I've screwed this up. Oh, I see it. Coming up now. Sure, a loop, why not? Woohoo! I'm too confident, cocky boy. Let's get that trim down a smidge. Trim it down a bit more because it, uh, it wants to go up, 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 up. further apart I think I see it, I think I see it micro status playing in 4k by the way ultra HD that's 2160p 60 FPS I think we're hitting I don't have an FPS counter on screen, but uh, it certainly feels like it. Boom! I'm nervous, I don't see it. Where is it? There it is. Some of these I've hit really nicely, some of them not so good. That circle is going high, it's making me think that it is high, but I'm not sure. See, now it's low. I don't really know where this one is. Oh no, don't make me miss this one. Where is it? It's the last one, where is it? Oh, I'm supposed to be landing. Oh, balls. Go around. I didn't see it on the ground. Damn it. The audio from the pilot is absolutely superb. 
It's the last one, where is it? Oh, I'm supposed to be landing. Oh, balls. I have to go around. I didn't see it on the ground. Damn it. The audio from the pilot is absolutely superb. So I'm reducing throttle. Air brake. Landing gear. Flaps. Seems a bit odd that there's been absolutely no... I can't even see the runway. Absolutely no guidance on how to land the plane. Where's the bloody runway? Oh man, I missed it. It's going to have to be something special here. This is not going to end well. I'm not even 100% sure if my gear's down. I don't know what to look at to uh, confirm that. Right, here we go. Massive hard rudder, hard turn. Throttle low. Straighten up. Oh, this is so shaky. Wow, she did not want to go down. She did not want to go down. We're going to try that again. And we're not going to screw it up this time. We're going to pay attention to where the... Uh, where the runway is. What do I think? Seem to be dropping a bit too fast. Quite a lot. Air brakes on. Won't go down. Oh. Okay, brakes on, brakes on, steer left. Oh my god, we're all over the place. Brakes, 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 brakes. Okay, we're in a straight line at least. Cinematic cam. So the air brake did deploy. I've got both brakes fully on and we're not slowing down. Well, what's going on there? Very odd. What's worrying me is that's still green. Okay, I've been through that gate three times now. I don't know what's going on. Well, according to this, we did it. <laughs>